Axel is a special boy. He is one of the few characters, aside from Sweet Tooth, people know who are not even fans of Twisted Metal. Due to his unique design, being a man stuck between two giant wheels, with his design never really changing very much, I mean, with a design like that, what can you really change without losing the integrity of Axel? He's been in every Twisted Metal since the second entry, only missing out on the first one, obviously. Today, we are going to look at every version of him, rank them, and see which ones are the best and which ones are the worst delving into the very first introduction in Twisted Metal 2. Out of all the beta male characters like Roadkill or Mr. Slam, there's a few real gaming athletes out there like Shadow and Axel. As I mentioned, Axel is iconic. He stands out amongst everyone else. Typically, players will gravitate towards the more unique and interesting designs. When you see the big piece of paper man himself standing tall there in his jeans and red eyes for whatever reason, I mean, I guess it's fitting when you actually experience him. Starting out, he controls fine with sufficient armor, being able to maneuver through the map relatively well, plus having good armor is a major win in Twisted Metal 2 considering how every enemy is against you. Having that strength in your back pocket is always welcomed. His special was the first true area of effect special introduced into Twisted Metal period. Coming off the first title, most special weapons were just straight shooting attacks or a simple missile. Outlaw was one of the few characters who actually had one being unique. As we all know, going from the first to second game, specials were amplified being so much more interesting and captivating, Axel being no exception. Yelling the classic Axel power that still gives me a headache when I hear it makes a shockwave go around him, launching all the opponents into the air. It doesn't do much damage on its own, but still viable to help you out if you're in a pinch. The main trick with Axel is ramming, then using a special. There are moments where I instantly killed weaker enemies like Mr. Grimm or Grasshopper if I perform it right. Even larger enemies like Hammerhead, Mr. Slam, or even Minion can take a hefty chunk of damage from simply ramming them plus using the special. I always found Axel to be quite overpowered in this entry because of this. With everyone else, I'm trying to make sure I always have enough weapons, save stuff for future levels, but with Axel, when weapons are scarce, you can quite literally just ram people to death, making this one of the few times I actually enjoy myself while playing Twisted Metal 2. There's no other feeling like ramming people with Axel. You don't need any other weapons. When the shield actually functions, the two wheels become your main source of damage. His special regenerates fast enough where utilizing his big boy combo becomes very common. You'd expect Hammerhead to be how Axel is, running people over and doing buckets of damage. Sadly, that is not the case. A monster truck is not good enough for that, but a paper man between two wheels is. Comparing both together, Axel is superior in every single way. He controls better, does ramming better, maybe slightly less armor, but I'd take the better control over that anyways. Especially since Hammerhead slides around all over the place like the tires are all greased up. Going through the game is very easy considering how much power is in your hands. Darktooth may be a little bit more challenging than everyone else. You'll end up getting splattered underneath his wheel and dying if you try the same tactic you did on the rest of your foes. We just need to resort to the same pussy play as always, dropping a bunch of mines down and letting Darktooth run them over like an idiot until he's dead. Or if you really want to, take your shirt off and show him who the real testosterone killer of the Twisted Metal competition truly is. After whooping the head's ass, obviously being very easy the thing has the health of a wet toothpick. Shockingly enough, Axel has a good ending for a Twisted Metal game. Typically, I don't care about them, but this one always stuck with me, and I feel like it's one of the best endings in the entire series, honestly. Axel stood before me and asked me for the one prize he wanted more than anything. The strength to face his father, who had bound him in this hellish contraption over 30 years ago. Why have you come back? I thought I'd gotten rid of you. Father, please, release me. You were always too slow, too damn stupid, and you still are. Gonna take ten more years on the wheels to set you right. You need to be taught a lesson. No, Father, I've learned my lesson. Let me show you what I've learned. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I am a free man, and you are no longer my father. Axel disappeared into the Kansas fields. To this day, he has yet to be seen. Imagine if Axel had an ending about everything being a dream. That could have been amazing and created the deepest story of all time, coming straight from the Bible. I remember reading it on page 8. Poor Axel ripped himself out of the machine to stand up to his dad. 
Honestly, he probably should have just ran his dad over and popped his skull like a water balloon underneath his tires. He goes through all of this without realizing his cruel fate of being turned into a watch later on in life. This Axel is a mess, there's no other way to put it. Your playthrough will always be a joke with him. I would say he's the best character in the game aside from Minion. No one stands a chance against you. Anytime you ram into someone or the enemy even rams you, they take heaps of damage. Combining it with your special can instantly kill smaller enemies at times. It was so powerful, I actually wondered if it was glitched, causing the amount of damage you deal. But no, this was intentional. Axel even has a cheat specifically made for him called Wheels of Death, allowing the player to drive over enemies much easier. Clearly, they wanted to have him as this all-in-one ramming champion, making Axel an objectively better Hammerhead. So why is Hammerhead in the game again? I have no idea. I feel like they could have left the good old monster truck out and left Axel as the car-crushing kingpin and replaced Hammerhead with someone else. All in all, Axel from Twisted Metal 2 is a monster. He eats everyone for breakfast aside from the bosses. Even still, they need to be careful when Axel is on the field. Twisted Metal 3 Axel is an interesting change, with the fundamentals of Twisted Metal being different with this entry. I view this version as a really solid wet wipe, which is not a bad thing. He has a very similar design, but much smaller. This looks more like Axel's little brother compared to the one we just played as. I don't care whatsoever about stories unless it really stands out in some way, and oh boy, does this one stand out. So if we read his bio, it states, Many years ago, my father forced me into this machine. When I finally freed myself, I was permanently disfigured. My torment was not over. I'm climbing back into my machine. When I win, I will finally be free. We saw him rip himself out of the machine. He gets back in for an unknown reason just to torment himself, I guess. Funny how stupid this is renowned as, but it's the same reason he puts himself into the machine in black, self-hatred and anger. He might as well be wearing a shirt that says, Frick you, mom, with emo hair clip-ons. Give him some Hot Topic pants to boot and he'll fit the perfect style of the people who stuck in the flower power code, touching themselves in the bathroom to it. So we need to experience his tournament. We want to immerse ourselves into the universe of the Axel cosplay. As I said, the fundamentals are completely different compared to our previous entry, so ramming is not the best move unless you're activating his special. If you ram and use the special, a large chunk of damage comes off the enemy's health pool, keeping that same vibe to Twisted Metal 2. Just the normal ramming damage is not present, so he's not as broken. He's still a great character overall. Never had too many issues playing as him either. The statistics are in the same vein with moderate handling, good armor, and serviceable speed. His special still knocks enemies into the air. The base damage was increased slightly, it seems. It's very hard to tell considering these two games are made by different studios, with the numbers being completely different. When I group the enemies together and use Axel Power, it seems a lot better with the impact compared to the previous. Is he as powerful as someone like Club Kid? Not really. I still feel like he maintains a top tier rating amongst this roster though. Lots of characters in Twisted Metal 3 don't have that same cathartic feeling of using a special weapon, which is where plentiful amounts of complaints arise with this title. Even Mr. Grimm feels like a joke with the special weapon. Thankfully, he is carried by having the best design in the entire franchise. With Axel, there's nothing really to tear apart when it comes to his design. It's just a man between two wheels. What is anyone supposed to say about him here? We don't get an overhaul until the next game, so poor Axel is stuck with his no shirt and pants for now. I've always wondered how he changes his clothes, goes to the bathroom, eats, drinks. Like, how does any of that stuff work? Somehow, after all this time, Axel is still alive in kicking, turning every opponent into scrap metal. Not just defeating Primeval, which is Calypso's right hand man, we kill him. Getting our ending, there's a reason I brought this bio up and why this story stands out as a classic. He got back into the machine to suffer and then free himself again for some reason, but we get a knee slapper instead. Axel, last time you wanted to escape the torment of your machine. Now your wish is to become one complete machine. Your wish is granted. Don't worry, Axel. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> he gets turned into Calypso's Rolex, becoming one complete machine. 
I've said this before, when I asked the lead programmer of this game what happened to some of these stories, he told me straight out that he has no idea. I just think it's hilarious how screwed up this was, and it's important to highlight it. Obviously, not too much fun can be had with Twisted Metal endings, considering how these stories are the greatest tales ever written. Edgar Allan Poe and his cronies would be jealous of the amazing literature that comes out of the Twisted Metal story factory, especially when we get the black, like, oh my god, half those stories are revenge stories, dude? Like, no way anyone aside from an ethereal being could come up with that. I just can't believe it to this day, like 80 years later. It's unbelievable, man. Axel in Twisted Metal 3 is fine. When we talked about Minion in every Twisted Metal before, Axel lost his power factor compared to the original game, which was a similar thing with Minion. He's not shit here by any means. Honestly, one of the best characters on this roster. He controls well. He doesn't flip over very much. Powerful special, sufficient armor, he's just lacking the ramming compared to the previous, which makes him feel slightly worse. Twisted Metal 4 is where things start to change for the worse with Axel. The previous two iterations are great. Twisted Metal 2 is a powerhouse with insane ramming damage. Twisted Metal 3 Axel is a Rolex. So when we get to this game, he's not on the main roster, being changed to a boss. He is the gladiatorial champion of the Amazonia 3000 BC area, which according to the manual is Sweet Tooth's Temple of Terror. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to mean, but off we go. When you fight him, Axel has plentiful amounts of armor to break through, a lot more than the previous. This is expected with him being a boss and all, but he's more like a bullet sponge than anything. Only Sweet Tooth rivals the armor he has, which is saying a lot considering how overpowered Sweet Tooth is. Axel can even tank a couple of henchmen. We're talking that kind of armor. His special is not too damaging, especially when the AI uses it. You're not going to see Axel come flying in, knocking you 10 miles away. Granted, the bosses in Twisted Metal 4 are dumb as shit unless you're fighting them on the Immortal difficulty. After finishing the game and unlocking every boss, you've acquired the big man. This time, he's not a piece of paper between two wheels or a man between two wheels. He is an action figure between them. I do like this model, the one and only time Axel had a major overhaul. And if you want to make a connection, he did wish to become one complete machine. And in this one, he looks like one complete machine. So I guess his wish transferred over before Sweet Tooth came in and slept Calypso's punk ass and took the tournament over. You will realize the second you play a Super Axel here, almost forgot to mention he's not just Axel, he is Super Axel for whatever that's worth. He definitely doesn't feel like it. This is one of the worst controlling characters I have ever seen in my life playing a Twisted Metal game. I'm not sure what happened in the studio, but it is genuinely appalling. Super Axel feels as if you're driving through molasses, barely being able to control yourself. Sure, it might be quote unquote realistic since he's driving on two wheels, but buzz off with that mess. There's no excuse for this. It ruins playing Axel entirely. The acceleration speed is very slow, going in reverse is even slower to the point I thought something was wrong with my controller. Thankfully in the fan mods this issue has been rectified, but in the normal game, my lord this atrocity is sickening. If you can look over this worthless control scheme, Super Axel is okay, I'm not gonna say he's a world beater or anything, he's a boss, just doesn't feel like one. Very common theme in Vanilla Twisted Metal 4. His special is aesthetically pleasing, plus the ability of being able to light enemies on fire, which is a really nice addition to his special. My main issue was how little impact damage you deal. You barely notice how much is dealt, I'm assuming the fire damage is expected to deal enough to make your special seem good. But funny, if you play this on any difficulty that's not scout, the AI will always turbo out of it, so what is the point of the fire? It reminds me a lot of the rain, just nowhere close to as bad. This special is a great idea in theory, using a shockwave, hitting a ton of enemies, burning them all, doing extra damage as they fly through the air. The issue is the little turbo function I mentioned. It takes quite a while for the fire to actually have a noticeable impact. What would have been better is if Axel's special fire could not be removed, so the low initial damage would make sense creating a threatening special since the player or whoever is affected could not turbo out of it, making Super Axel actually feel like a boss. The only strength in your hand is having high armor. Funnily enough, it doesn't really matter that much since you're going to be taking so much damage from barely being able to move. The very high armor is completely negligible on higher difficulties to me which is what I'm using for my barometer to dictate if a character is actually good or not, because using Scout would be similar to someone giving the controller to their four-year-old brother, digging him an early grave, then flaunting how you're the best player since the Muffin. If we compared this to the previous Axles, sure, he definitely has higher armor, but when it comes to the damage department, Super Axel doesn't really provide enough to even be considered decent in comparison. 
I really like the design. It's probably my favorite for him. But when it comes to playing as him, no thank you. I'd rather play as a classic character such as Pizza Boy, who actually shockingly rips Super Axel a new asshole. Good old Twisted Metal Black, the best game ever made, with the best stories of all time. I remember the time I was taking a fictional writing course and my professor saw me typing out a story. He grabs my finger and just snaps it off because I was not using the 60% revenge story, the video game, as my inspiration. Ever since then, I studied these stories, truly understanding how repeating the same story base is the move to make. Also in the loading screen, Cage or Warthog and Axel are literally the same model. I learned a lot, but the best thing Twisted Metal Black can do for me in return after having a shrine of it in my shed is to give me a good Axel to play as. It delivers somewhat. This is the first game to introduce secret special weapons, which I really love. My only problem is only certain characters have access to this function. Crazy 8, Raven, and Axel are the only ones who do, unless you really want to consider the missiles on Outlaw as a second special weapon. With Axel, you have the traditional special. He does what is expected of him, becoming a blue collar, clocking in 9 to 5, busting out a shockwave, and clocking out. If you have the special selected, press up three times, and he does the splits, making the wheels come together allowing you to run enemies over like Hammerhead would for example, being quite powerful. I feel like Axel's shockwave is weak, not being too useful unless you're, maybe you're surrounded by multiple enemies. I always figured just shielding and driving away feels like a much better idea to me than wasting a special when you can save it for a later time and use the secondary one. Granted, sometimes it can be hard to actually get good damage off consistently with the secret special, overall it's better to use. Axel is a lot weaker this time around defensively, especially compared to Twisted Metal 4 Super Axel. He's nowhere close to his beefy. Twisted Metal 2 is much more powerful, so he feels in line more with like Twisted Metal 3 being a serviceable choice in the game. He's not going to pound the tournament into the floor, nor will he have a hard time with it. It's only rough against Snorhawk since you need to do nonsense to actually deal damage with his special. Once again, you need to unlock him. How anyone figured this out is beyond me. The section you're expected to hit is absurd. So many people have trouble hitting it. The first person who unlocked it either read it from a magazine or got it by pure dumb luck. It is a pain in the ass for so many people. Aesthetically, he went from being a metal man back to a regular man between wheels. From my understanding, Axel put himself inside of this contraption because his wife got murked by Sweet Tooth. She got taken to Bone Town, and I guess he blames himself for it, so he drives this automobile to suffer for it. Like, seriously? Why? Like, it doesn't even make any sense. At least he broke out the J's. I mean, look at how red his feet are right there. Controlling this thing with his mind while wearing $300 shoes. This is the best Axel of all time. Never mind what I said. His story is great. And this is time to share one of the beta stories since it's funny and Sweet Tooth sounds like he's injecting testosterone into his eyelids while eating his trend bologna sandwiches. I went to Calypso and demanded my prize. I wanted to know who killed my son and I wanted revenge. It was him, that freak in the ice cream truck. He was always around the neighborhood. Why hadn't I been more careful? I should have sensed something was wrong. It was my fault. Maybe I was really the one to blame for my son's death. But then, he spoke to me. Your boy, he didn't go down easy. You should know, he begged for his daddy as he died. I couldn't take it anymore. The clown is dead, but so is my son. I will never be free. Twisted Metal Small Brawl Axel is an interesting one. This was the butchering of two classic characters, Warthog and of course Axel. Both of them are dog shit. Thankfully, we're not talking about Warthog since he is the worst character by far in Twisted Metal Tots. Axel, once again, is an unlockable character. On the first level, you'll see him on a swing, jump up and shoot it with any weapon. He'll fly into the level, grab his icon, and you're good. Never in a million years would you think receiving an unlock is a punishment until Axel comes into play. Obviously, with everything being turned into RC cars, Axel is now a plastic man between two wheels with a completely revamped special weapon. 
you need to hit an enemy with a power missile like attack if that missile hits a target axel has a seizure spinning around in a circle shooting even more locking onto the initial target if you miss then all of the missiles fly around doing absolutely nothing and the special is wasted unless you drive right next to someone making a few strays do extra damage the special sucks I don't think it's a secret. If you've ever played Twisted Metal Small Brawl, you know how infuriating it can be to use it. Even hitting an enemy with every locked on missile, it hardly does any damage, making it substantially worse than all the other versions of Axel, maybe aside from the Twisted Metal 4 Super Axel Special. At least that one has a bunch of armor though. I figured since you need to hit a skill shot attack, then maybe damage would be amplified, especially having every missile hit afterwards, granting an even bigger bonus similar to how Twisted Metal Black's Roadkill or Sweet Tooth work, dealing extra damage when every missile is hit. This would make Axel and Small Brawl a lot more satisfying to play as, considering his special would actually be useful. Currently, I feel as if it's an afterthought, and I never find myself using it throughout any of my runs. Maybe as a last resort weapon? Even still, I'd rather go look for something else or use my machine guns instead. What we know Axel has in the past is completely changed as well. He's always been a tough man between the wheels with sufficient handling and speeds, while also having good armor and a special varying in power. This time around, he's a lot lower in defense, having the best handling of the whole roster, and it confuses me of why this change was implemented, considering Axel is a staple at this point. This is only the fifth title, and he's been sharing the similar playstyle between all of those entries since the second game. It's very hard to explain how I feel about this Axel, like, it just doesn't feel like Axel if that makes sense. Similar to Warthog, but at least we know with Warthog, that was initially Grasshopper just changed last minute, putting a basic army camo pattern on it to call him Warthog. To my knowledge, Axel was always Axel. I guess it was a design philosophy change, which I guess makes sense. It just feels as if he's missing the impact he's always had. Even in Twisted Metal 4, his special sucks, but the armor is one of the best in that whole game. In Small Brawl, Axel feels like a watered down version of his former self. I would never recommend anyone testing this character out in Small Brawl if you haven't. The game is an amazing experience aside from Warthog and Axel. Just keep them outside of the bubble. So I went straight over this game and recorded the part about 2012, just completely ignoring head-on Extra Twisted Edition. I guess it shows you how memorable this game is. This is one of the entries I really find tough to rank any character considering how overpowered upgrades are. I feel like everyone essentially plays the same, plus the balancing is just not very good. The differences between characters are hardly noticeable, we're talking Mr. Slam special does 10 more damage than Spectre, which is the equivalent of a fire missile. I never know what to say in this situation, like he's alright I guess, aside from needing to play the tank minigame that makes me sick, I genuinely cannot stand it for more than one second. It controls like hot dog water and it's not fun whatsoever. There's no glaring issue with Axel of course, he's here and he wants pizza, that's really all I can say about him. I'll just be repeating myself with the frustrations I have towards Twisted Metal head on, Extra Twisted Edition in specific. If you're interested in finding out more about that, I have a video breaking it all down. This section about the characters can just be copy pasted here because it's all the same reasoning as I state in that video. We have finally reached the end with Twisted Metal 2012, Twisted Metal X, whichever you want to call it. I was really worried I wouldn't be able to record any footage since my PS3 sounded like a chainsaw while I was playing. It was making me so pissed. I needed to put my Swanson's Kids Fun Feast Roarin' Ravioli down and figure out what the problem was. Thankfully, we are here playing as Axel, who was initially a pre-order bonus, who was then given out to free for people as part of an update as far as I'm aware. I'm not entirely sure the reasoning behind it. Thankfully, I didn't need to buy his punk ass, or I should say this punk ass, considering the main man himself is not between the wheels, which is kind of awkward. Seeing someone in there who was not Axel really makes the game lose a lot of the charm that he's always had with all the drivers. Even though I don't care much about the stories and always enjoy poking fun at them, it made each car feel as if there was more charm to it and they were more unique. Especially when it was someone like Axel who's been around since 1996, you know? When you say Axel, my first thought is what we know, not Sweet Tooth or Dollface sitting in between it. Alas, there is nothing we can do, so we're stuck with it. I feel like Axel performs well. Granted, I don't play online, so I'm not sure how his performance is there. These games online are obviously high stakes action where it's super competitive, having a thriving esports league. People are getting salaries playing 2012, so it needs to be taken with the utmost seriousness. Wait till I get my $6 million franchise slot with my team Unitit, and we will slaughter the competition. So you cannot talk about anything unless you have thousands of hours and years of experience 
experience in an online environment that no one plays in. Or, sorry, I mean a super thriving online community of pro players. Excuse my rotten tongue. I always felt the automobile of Axel to be quite good, actually. Similar to Twisted Metal Black, I never find myself using the shockwave attack very often. Being required to charge it makes it slightly worse to me than the traditional asshole power. He has the return of his secondary special weapon once again. It is much more consistent this time around, being able to rack up so much damage. Each consecutive hit increases the amount of damage you deal. You need to get three hits in one special use, which can be kind of difficult sometimes depending on who you're going against and how familiar you are with 2012's controlling. It plays much faster than every other entry. Axel overall feels very similar to how Twisted Metal Black plays out, maybe slightly stronger. I just don't feel like Axel ever reached his true stride since the PS1 era. PS2 and onwards, he always felt fine, just nowhere near as powerful as Twisted Metal 2, and the same sentiment can be made here. I do like how Axel can jump really high though. Not sure who came up with that idea, but it's really neat. Axel controls well, has sufficient armor, and if you can manage to pull off the maximum damage for Axel's special, it really adds up. Not as consistent as the Shockwave, obviously, which does much less damage. Still good if you're surrounded and you want enemies to get out of your path. I'm just not much of a fan of the charging up aspect. And that's Axel from every Twisted Metal game. Now it's time to rank them amongst each other and see which one is the best, starting from the worst. The worst Axel to me is Twisted Metal Small Brawl. To me, this does not even feel like Axel. Sure, it looks like him with the wheels, but everything else is just so bad aside from his handling. The special sucks, hitting people with it barely does anything, even with the maximum amount of missiles hit. He has the armor of a dollar store wet wipe, anything that hits you does buckets of damage, and it's just not fun to play as Axel here, and essentially having no strength that actually matters to me, forcing me to stick him at the bottom. Next up is Twisted Metal 4 Axel, although I really like his design, the special weapon to me just kind of sucks, the damage is so pitiful considering how easy it is to alleviate the damage from this, it removes a huge part of Axel. Sure, it does push people away, but you can't even do the ramming special combo like you could in the previous two games before it. He controls like dog shit, even though his armor is one of the best in Twisted Metal 4, how awful he handles makes it not even matter. I'm putting Twisted Metal head on extra Twisted Edition Axel here. Again, I'm not entirely sure where to rank characters from this game, considering they all feel essentially the same. He's not good or bad, just nothing really standing out compared to the rest that we've mentioned so far, and compared to the last two that we just mentioned, I wouldn't say he is as close to as bad as that. You can use him, he's fine, he's just not great. I don't know where to put him, so he's kind of just like middling, I guess. That seems to be a safe bet for all Twisted Metal head-on characters, honestly. So he kind of just sits here, and I'm not entirely confident with it, but I don't know where else to put him. Twisted Metal Black comes in here. I really like his secret special, being able to run over enemies doing extra damage, which is also a really interesting dynamic for the game. A big fan. His shockwave kind of sucks, and to be clear, we're talking about the regular Black, not the Black Online version, because that one's overpowered beyond all belief. Now that we're starting to get into the big boy section, higher standards need to be met to make him above this spot. He's a serviceable choice, of course, just not a kick-ass money-making machine. Even though he's wearing $300 J's on his character model, I just don't feel like he's much better than the next three that we have to mention. Twisted Metal 2012 takes the bronze medal. It's very similar to Twisted Metal Black Axel, same special weapon as well. I always felt like you can get more use out of the Shockwave in comparison. The second special is also much more effective and consistent. My biggest issue with Blacks is the driving on top of cars was kind of clunky and didn't work super well. 2012 is much more user friendly when it comes to this and tons of fun to use. I also love being able to jump 15 miles into the air. Twisted Metal 3 takes a silver medal. Yes, I actually do think this Axel belongs here. Sure, he doesn't have the ramming damage from Twisted Metal 2, but that impact trick still works. Doing turbo and ramming into an enemy while using the special weapon does a lot of damage. On top of that fact, the special in general is one of the base best damages in the entire game, which can be dished out to multiple enemies at once. He controls well, has good armor and moderate handling, just compares nothing to the obvious number one spot. Twisted Metal 2 Axel is a mess, he's overpowered, being the best non-boss character in the game. The ramming is insane to the point it can be your main source of attack rather than even looking for weapons. I never enjoyed Axel more than this one since everyone gets crushed underneath the wheels, feeling more like Minion or someone of that caliber. Plus having a cheat dedicated to him, what other character in the whole franchise can say something like that? And that's my ranking for every Axel in Twisted Metal. I am curious to hear what everyone else's lists are in the comment section. Do you think Twisted Metal 2 is the best? 
most likely considering what I just laid out and how broken he is. Maybe you think Small Brawl is the best for whatever reason. I really hope not, but please let me know why if you think so. Yowzers, it's Axel here. I want to come in and thank all of the channel members we have. All of your support is much appreciated. Shout out to every single one of you for being a hero of the ages. Hail our Lord Panther.